So I went to go fly my drone the other day, and the DJI app kept crap crashing on me, and this was on iOS 11 on uh, December about December 7th in 2017, one sunny afternoon outside and a beautiful day in the northwest. Kind of cold, but nevertheless, ready to fly. Anyway, DJI app kept crashing. I was like, dang it. And it wanted to do a firmware update. So I was like, okay, well, we'll do the firmware update. Sure. Even though the app is crashing. No, don't do that. If your app is crashing, don't do an update. It's really stupid. And that's what I did. And then, so I thought I fried my controller. But it turns out there's a really cool uh, setting on your um, app here on this DJI Go app. I'm using the Phantom 3 Advanced. And this is for anybody who had a firmware mishap. Uh, app crashing, any you know failure, and you just can't seem to get your controller back, uh, whether it shut off during the update or whatever. This is for you. In the top right corner, you have these three lines here. Ding! And what you're going to do is you're just going to press your finger on those three lines and hold for 10 seconds and then release. And you will get a magic firmware upgrade menu where you can downgrade upgrade, side grade, whatever you want to do. Okay, so let's try it. Let's see if this works. 1001, 2002, 2003, 10. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, it says there's no firmware. Oops, that's because I didn't turn the controller on. Let's turn the controller on, yeah? Hold on. All right, let's try that again. Oh, look at that. It says there's a 1.80 firmware, but you know what? It didn't work for me. It says download error. Oh, and so uh, I went to 1.6. I just did that, and I went download, and it went, and I was like, whoa, and it worked, and it brought my controller back online. I was happy again, but I watched many, like 50 videos that really didn't help. Not one of them, except one on the Phantom 4, which I don't have, showed me the little three-line trick, and I was just like, boom, and I got my camera back, and I was like, wow. Oh, and I did upgrade my iPhone. This is an iPhone, this is an iPhone 7 Plus that I upgraded. I updated the iOS 11 on Thursday, I think it was, the 7th which would mean s Friday was the 8th, Saturday's the 9th. Hey, we got our dates correct. Anyway, that's how you, yeah, that's how I fixed it. Just thought I'd share. Yeah, thanks for watching. Later.